O Antiphons, December 20th, Wednesday. Key of David opening the gates of God's eternal kingdom, free the prisoners of darkness. From earliest times man has looked to heaven as to his lost home. His heart was made for light, for joy and happiness. Yet he remained in sadness and shadows, oppressed by the weight of the sin that brought about his downfall. Whenever man, overcome by his passions, freely and willingly cuts his union with God, he once again brings about this sorry process of corruption in himself. But it is still possible for the sinner to feel the weight of his guilt and seek the freedom and salvation he has failed to find in creatures. He can rebel against the slavery of sin, availing himself of the grace Jesus won for us. Saint Josemaria said, I accept no slavery other than that of God's love. As I have told you on other occasions, religion is the greatest rebellion of men who refuse to live like animals, who are dissatisfied and restless until they come to know their Creator and are on intimate terms with Him. I want you to be rebels, free and unfettered, because I want you. It is Christ who wants us to be children of God. Slavery or divine sonship, this is the choice we face. Children of God or slaves to pride, to sensuality, to the fretful selfishness which seems to afflict so many souls. Have confidence, the Lord is coming. He is at the door. God is love. The abyss of malice opened by sin has been bridged by his infinite charity. God does not abandon men. As each day brings us nearer to Bethlehem, we should remain alert, begging God to have pity on us, to come and save us. Let us tell our Lord, come Lord, my Jesus. Come to my heart, to the hearts of all Christians. Come especially to the hearts of those who once thought of giving themselves to you, but then abandoned the idea, not through bad will, but through weakness. Let us pray for every person of every race and tongue and religion, for those with only a vague idea of religion, and for those who do not know the faith, and our zeal for souls, a self-evident proof that we love Jesus, will ensure that he comes. God our Lord wants you and me to be holy, so that we may sanctify others. Look at yourself, look at our God, and then look at the world. Only the possession of God can fully satisfy the longings of the human heart. The world still awaits Christ. Most people still do not know Him. We Christians have a supernatural responsibility to cooperate with God's power. For this is God's plan. <laughs>